Hi guys, and welcome back. So in this series, I'm going to be showing you basics of setting up a quadcopter from zero in episodes as fast as possible under five minutes each. Now, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at normal flight controllers, not all in one flight controllers, just basic flight controllers. So we're going to see how to power up the flight controller and how to connect the motors in the correct orientation and how to set everything up. So let's begin. Now here we have two examples. We have something that's pretty recent and we have something that's super old and everyone still uses and everyone knows. This one's a little bit more confusing than the newer ones. Let's get into this. First things first, you need to check the arrow. The arrow is very important because the arrow dictates if your quadcopter is gonna fly or not. Now assuming that you're watching this video, which means you're new, I highly recommend you follow the arrow. So if the arrow is pointing forward, this goes like this in your quadcopter, that'd be the front. And here we go, we have the same, the, the arrow is pointing forward, you would put this in your quadcopter like so, you're good to go. That's the first thing. Second thing, you need to check your flight controller specifications, figure out if it takes 5 volts or if it'll take uh, the battery voltage. Now most of them take 5 volts, but sometimes they don't, and if they don't, you just put the battery voltage to them. And let's begin. These two take 5 volts. Now, in order to give them 5 volts, you obviously need a PDB or a 4-in-1 ESC. Now the 4 in 1 ESC part will come into another video, we'll leave that separate, but right now let's just do the basics. Here's a PDB. So obviously the PDB will have the battery connected here, and if we take a look at the PDBs, they all have 5 volts, every single one of them. So we set 5 volt and ground. So what you do is you solder a wire here, and you solder a wire here. Now if you don't know, ground is always black on everything you get, and 5 volt is usually red, so that's how you would know this and 5 volt is always the plus and ground is always the minus. So we would take a 5 volt, let's start with the SPF3, and we would take the ground. So <clears throat> looking here, now not a lot of boards are doing this, this is a pretty, little bit complicated for most people and this is where it loses a lot of people here. Now where the hell would I power this guy up? Well it's very simple, you just have a plus and a minus. And what you do is you take the 5 volt to the plus right there, and you take the ground to the minus right here, you're done. Now let's take a look at this one. Uh, so this one's all powered and done. Just very simple. Two wires powers it right up. This one is also the same, but there is no plus and minus. It's just going to say a 5 volt in a ground. However, you need to take something in consideration with a board like this. Because, for example, uh, there could be a 5 volt in a ground right here. There's a lot of 5 volts in a ground here. But this one's next to the camera, so when you're going to connect your camera here, the yellow wire here, you're going to have to go find another 5 volt in ground from somewhere else, which makes it not really practical. So try to find something you really are not going to use, something next to it. So for example, here's S7, we're not going to need that. You'll never need that unless you know what you're doing. Uh, here we have a 5 volt in ground, and this is where I would route my 5 volt in ground. Ground to ground, 5 volt to 5 volt, boom, this board is powered up. Now let's talk about ESCs. Taking into consideration that we did put the board in the correct orientation with the arrows pointing forward, you need to know numbers. If you know how to count one through four, you could wire up any ESC. So we have in every single board that comes S1 through S4 or through S5, all you need is S1, S2, S3, and S4. Very simple. So let's, we need to first know the orientation of each motor and we can do this two ways. I'll leave a picture up here and you'll check it out right now. Or you can go ahead and connect this via, you know, not even done anything to it. Connect it to your PC, log into Betaflight, and go to the Motors tab, and it'll have a picture, that picture right there. And it'll show you motor 1, 2, 3, and 4. Simple. So you just have to connect those to the exact one, and you're good to go. For example, if we take a look here, this is a little bit upside down, so don't forget, this would be the front here. But if we take a look here, it says S. You see the S? One, two, three, four. Now it has to eight, but that means you can put up to eight motors, but don't put five to eight because we're building a quadcopter here. So you need S1, two, three, and four. So what you do is, since this is in your quadcopter like this, and in the picture it says this is motor one. So S1 goes here, and then this is motor two. S2 goes here, S3 goes there, and S4 goes for it. S means the signal to the motor. So just, it's that simple. Now, you might be afraid because some ESCs come with this extra black wire. Now, the black wire is always ground. However, here we have a ground. We could ground them anywhere here, but some flight controllers don't have a ground. So what do you do? You can do two things. Remove the whole ground completely off from the ESC, or you can just uh, wrap it with the ESC power here, and then when you solder it, it, you're good to go. So you can do that two ways. 
And now let's take a look at this board. Nowadays, they're making it a little bit easier. So the arrow is pointing forward. Where is S1? Well, it's right there. S1 and it's correct orientation. That's perfect. And where's S2? It's right there. And there's even a ground. So if you wanted to ground, you would ground this wire next to the, the little wire next to the white wire. And you could ground it right there. If you don't want to just cut that off, it'll save you some time. So there's S2 and then there's S3 and then there's S4. It's very simple and very straightforward. There's nothing to it. And that's how you would basically connect a flight controller. We'll get into the cameras and VTX in a different episode, but it's just that simple. There's nothing to it. We'll also get into all of our flight controllers and 4-in-1 ESCs and uh, make these as quick as possible and as fast as possible. And that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. I really hope it helped someone out there. Please consider joining my Patreon. Help me support this channel. Help me support this mission to enable me to do a lot more. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.